just an update on the amplifier project. Got some more parts in today in the mail. Um, so I was about to open these up and find out what's in here and see. Um, hopefully, I get my cigar boxes soon so I can begin the process of mounting the transformers in and the tubes uh, and the two bases as well. Um, so let me go ahead and open these up and we'll see what we got. Alright, the first thing I got were these little tube sockets, these little, uh, they're ceramic. Uh, I don't have the tubes yet, <clears throat> the uh, uh, 60 FX5s. And uh, on the data sheet, I've never worked with 60 FX5s before, so data sheet required a small button miniature 7 pin base, and that's what I ordered. And um, so I'm hoping they fit. It's got seven, seven pins. And uh, comes with the mounting, little mounting brackets. All right. These are for uh, top mounting. So you drill a hole and put them through the hole and these little guys will hold them down. You screw them into either side, and they'll they'll hold them down to the to the chassis. Again, in my case, that'll be a cigar box. Second thing I got are these little perf boards, which I may or may not need. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the internal wiring, but every now and then you might need something to uh, uh, to mount something to. So um, I needed these anyway for other projects. I'm trying to stick within the, the budget, so I ordered about the cheapest thing you can get, but uh, as long as I can get solder on the components, um, it's not a problem. And some more resistors. No, oh, they're quarter watt. 280, 1%. Metal film. I forget where these go. But there are certain values there were certain values that uh, the schematic called for um, that I couldn't find at a reasonable price so I'll have to make proper resistors out of series and parallel and other resistors but that's that's fine I don't mind doing that again trying to stick within the budget I don't know if these are those or not these are well 280s is our um, 9 um, so I know we have an R9 there and that R9 right there was a 2 watt and I think I couldn't find a 280 with 2 watts, so these are quarter watts, so I'll have to put um, several of them in parallel and then put a couple in series to get that 2 watt, that two watt uh, dissipation capability. It's got my volume control potentiometer and balance control. The volume control potentiometer is right here. This dual gang so there's one, there's an R1 right here and an R2 there and that's what you see here there's two potentiometers stacked on each other that track each other in resistance this is also an audio taper rather than a linear doesn't say it right on there but that's supposedly what it is I'll have to measure that with a ohmmeter and this is a linear um, volume up balance control potentiometer which is uh, this guy right here R5. And I got my Sylvania new old stock vacuum tubes. These are the uh, 60FX5s. I like these old boxes. Made in the USA. And so I'm just going to 
see you make sure this fits in the socket that I got earlier. Let me just set the camera down for a second. And sure enough, it fits. That's off to a good start. These are really small tubes, you know, about the size of a thumb. And again, they're the only the only vacuum tubes in the circuit. They are pentodes. As you can see, they have a separate um, heater, cathode control grid, um, screen grid, plate suppression grid I think that's called I forget okay and this is just some wire braid sometimes I use it sometimes I don't depends uh, it's basically a hollow um, I think it's nylon uh, braid that uh, you put over uh, exposed wires longer runs of exposed wires in an effort to prevent accidental shorts and it looks nice I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not but I needed I wanted some it was inexpensive and I got some fuses uh, these are should be 3 amp um, there's the fuse and it is 3 amps And I think I purchased a fuse holder as well, a really cheap one, but uh, again, trying to stick within the, the budget. Now this is an interesting little part. This is the on and off switch that uh, should depicted on the schematic here, but I'm going to be moving it up to here. So it's just a simple single throw, single pole on and off switch. And it's interesting because it's got a key. Um, and basically put the key in and turn it for on and turn the other direction off. Um, I thought that would be fun because I'm building this thing on a cigar box. I thought it would just add to the uh, esoteric oddball nature of this amp. And in addition to that, um, it serves another purpose. Um, as I discussed and I think in the first video, this amp is kind of dangerous because it doesn't have... Well, first of all, it's going to be built in a cigar box rather than a metal chassis. Um, and it also doesn't have a, a power transformer, so it's not um, isolated from the uh, line voltage. So uh, honestly, I really don't want anyone using it. Not that anyone would around here, but you never know. I don't want anyone using it unless I'm around because this is more of an experimental amp, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a key. Plus it's going to look interesting, I think. Okay, I got the chassis in. Which happens to be my cigar box. I'll probably peel the label off. And uh, well worth five dollars. I don't smoke cigars, so I have no idea how these are used or what. The, I guess you just keep cigars in them. I don't. There must be a reason. There's a wood that's wooden, and it came with some kind of cedar. Came with some kind of cedar things, and came with this thing. I have no idea, but I don't need it. I just need the box grab transformers I wonder how I'm going to do this hmm 
So the transformers will be there. And probably the tubes. Those are the output transformers. Remember, there is no power transformer. So probably the tubes there and maybe the switch on top. I think it's kind of cool to have a switch on top. And uh, I might do the switch. Let me see. So I still have no idea how I'm going to do this. I don't know. Something like that, maybe. I think it's neat to have the things on top. So uh, maybe the uh, balance on off switch volume control, two vacuum tubes and the two output transformers. That's really the only thing. And uh, of course the input jacks and the power would uh, come in on the on the back side. And there's no there's no pilot there's no light on this thing because I, I never saw a need to, for an on light for a tube amplifier because um, generally you see the tubes glowing and you know that the thing is on. Sometimes lights look kind of neat, so there we have it. That's where I am so far. So I think the first order of business is to actually get some of this stuff mounted. I don't think these transformers are going to mount. I don't think there's enough space. Barely enough space to mount these things like that, so they might have to to go in the other direction. In a mess already. Might have to go in the other direction, which might look kind of strange, but that wouldn't be good because um, the magnetic flux would be coming out. Well, we want that to interfere with the tube. I don't know. I got to think this thing through. I have. Uh, it actually came with two cigar boxes. I have some other tubes in that other one now, but I don't think I want to build this on two. Although I could stack them with a space in between. So uh, this is the kind of thought process that kind of goes into this. I'm going to try to get, I'd, I'd like to try to get these mounted side by side. Like that, if possible. It's pretty close. There's a little mounting, little mounting holes stick out to the side there. Maybe I can mount them over top of each other. Let me get them that close. Might just barely fit. So there we have it. I've got enough to get started. It really begins with the layout. Like that. And something like that. The switch. Things are getting too close to the tubes though. I don't know. We'll work on that and figure it out. Anyway. That's where I am now, so I got my parts box. Parts box going over here. Got enough to get to get started. Uh, mounting the hardware at least, and then uh, once I get that going, I can start doing some wiring. And again, like I said in the last video, the first order of business is the power supply. And I don't have these caps in yet. C8 and C7, which are 50 microfarad. 150 volt. I do not have those in. Those are going to be electrolytic capacitors. I don't have the diode in. I had to order that with new old stock. It's a very, very old diode. It's big. So, um, but I can get going on the. I don't, I don't have the fuse holder either. I'm just going to have to wait. So I'm just going to get this stuff mounted. Get the tube receptacles mounted. Maybe mount the pots. Okay, well, anyway, I'll, um, when I get started again, I'll make another video. Thanks for watching.